Hi guys, Chris here from Heat the Ball Gaming and welcome back to episode 40 of Project Bundesliga where we try to take Tasmania Berlin all the way up from the Berlin Liga Division 6 in German football all the way to Bundesliga to try and beat 8 points that we got in the 65-66 season where we set all the records for all the wrong reasons and yes, yeah, it's a transfer window special and yeah, things have been reasonably well I'll just show you the transfers out first um, I've had to balance the books quite a lot because the board have um, really really chopped our um, wage budget down they, they dropped it by about 2,000 I was about a thousand underneath the, the wage budget anyway but I've had to had to sort of free up around about 800 pounds so quite a few players have went out Philip Hamann he's a lot of the young lots a lot of the young guys that have went that just weren't featuring um, Philip Hamann, he's gone, a, a reserve goalkeeper, and yeah, he was a decent option for a second choice, but he was never going to figure unless Embarga got an injury, and well, he might get an injury, but I've got a young guy on the, from the Youth Academy replacing him, I'll show you him in a minute, Joseph Bogner, another player that came in at the beginning of last, yeah, middle of last season, it must be this transfer window last season, and he looks all right again, but just not good enough for the for the level at the moment. He appeared three times for us, and he's, he's all right. But Peter was course yeah, I had to get rid of him. I can't see his last name um, again. Decent option in the left of midfield, but again, never really figured a lot. Kofi Quarteg. This guy just annoyed me, didn't he? Just, um, just was frustrating. He he had some upside, he had a bit of potential, but you know he did improve us when he first came in. He played in the midfield role, and he played uh, quite a lot for us actually. But he just, just annoyed me. I just wanted rid of him from probably about last season, but we just didn't have any better options as in reserve. Brent Werner, he was another guy we signed at the beginning of the season. And again, I'd quite like to have kept him, but he's just needed to free up some cash because of the, the board, because of just hemorrhaging money. And I wanted to stay under the wage budget, so I'm about two hundred pound under the under the wage budget now. So, and then Ben Trap, he was an eighteen year old, the least talented trap at our club, and yeah, he's gone. He's nothing, nothing sensational about him. He might have improved. A little bit upset he's gone, but. That's that these things happen. If you look at the all transfers now, you'll notice, notice that Evren Kylar's away. He was a big part of a couple of seasons. He signed for us in the north the beginning of the North East North and he played the first two seasons, but last season he well this season even he, he, he hardly featured at all, just for having better options. And with losing uh, Guberich him walking out then he, I was wanting to keep him but he wanted to go as well unhappy so I did some business not much you'll see most of them are loans Eric Kabulu from Shamrock Rovers he's a decent option in the left sided midfield eh, defence and he's probably better than Mitchellfield but Mitchellfield's been playing reasonably well so you'll have to wait for his um, chance as you can see he's played in all the he comes from Shamrock Rovers on loan and he, as you can see, he's played in the North East South, the North East North. He stepped up to Region L last season, and now he's taken a, a drop down to the North East North. But this group for Old Dorf got relegated last season, so and he didn't play very well. He played better for Adelsdorf, or one of our rivals. And yeah, he's stepping in just to be a, a squad member for us. Secondly, Tom Buske, and he's from... Borussia Tennis Berlin, our rivals, he's not that good, but gives us an option at centre back, which is where we really needed. And I was, I was, I was struggling to bring in any centre backs. To be honest, Diederich, he he got offered to several clubs. I had to give him a quite a big pay rise to get him to stay. And got another guy in from loan from Habelstadt, Habelstadt, and. Yeah, he's just a aging uh, journeyman. 
attacking midfield striker option. He looks okay, he'll do the job just for the, the season. He's only covered £40 a week, so just by reducing those guys off the, off the um, wage bill and bringing this guy in, it's, it's just balancing the books, really. He's not really costing us much. He's a bit of journeyman. journey, he's played in Austria, he's played in Germany. Although, this guy, Kukerstein, is this an Austrian club in the, in the German league system? Possibly, by the looks of things. Pichinella, I don't know. But yeah, it's a uh, really, really journeyman. He's not been prolific anywhere he's been. So I'm not expecting a lot of goals, but he's an option. And last and not least, this, this is part of the reason I have to balance the books a lot. I noticed this guy was available. And he is a defensive midfielder, central midfielder. He's a deep line playmaker, exactly what we need. And he is very tasty. Look at these stats. He's four star potential. Uh, well, he's, he's 24. And he's a real international. Look at this. International caps galore. 32 for Luxembourg. If you look at this, he's played in the Bundesliga. He started off at a Bundesliga club. And he's been all over the Legionellas, the third division, and North East North for uh, Tasmania Berlin. And basically, if we win the promotion this year, Tasmania Berlin manager should get shot because half of our really good players are all from there or they all try to sign them. So, really thank them for, for this promotion. Indeed, at 18, had lots of offers and got a pay rise. The way we managed to balance the books is our man start save managed to take a, a pay cut, which was very nice of him. Um, he's only £375, he was getting £550, and, and he, he's contracted to next season. He's getting a bit of a pay rise at the beginning of the next season if we win promotion, but we'll not talk about that just now. And Yuzadowski, the main man, he's obviously signed a contract for another year. He's on £550. He can thank start save for that as well because he had a close to say he matched the, the top earner and now he's way in front as the top earner. It's actually a bit ridiculous, but there's no option to bring it down. So I'll maybe try to negotiate with him at the beginning of the next season. He's still got a year and a bit on his contract, so he's not going to want to renew unless I offer him something silly. Ambrell still won't sign a contract, keep trying, we'll keep trying, hopefully, hopefully you will. In terms of what we'll go to the finances, you can see things aren't doing very well at all. You can see we're under our wage budget and uh, by 100 and, not even that by now, yeah, 100 odd pound. We're minus 396k, so three, you know, 400,000 pound and it's Oh, that's a bit nasty looking, we'll not look at that. But part of the reason is this, this, this um, bank loan he's taken out the, the chairman. So we'll just ignore that in a moment. So we're playing second bottom, Beefles Wald. Second bottom, Beefles Wald. And we've got that way embargo and goals and again he's just turning into a really tidy goalkeeper got Mizzlefield and left back again he's going to get a bit of competition just we needed a bit more competition I wanted to get a right full back as well but there's none more available Deedere comes into defence and hopefully he'll be playing better he started off the season pretty poor his group of records was much uh, superior Kruzinski is playing as the centre back. He's happy now. He wants to stay, and he's a big, big, big player for us. So hopefully, long may that continue. Start save. A Kazakhstani international. He's not our only international now. Well, Kastrati, he's an under Albanian under twenty one um, international, but he's not a full international just yet. But start save comes in. Uh, Bicher playing in midfield, he can't really play the role but he has a bit of class, he's on one from Energy Coldbus and 
he scores for fun at times. Vega comes straight in, playing that central role, and he's a bit of class. So hopefully these three guys will be able to click. Trap comes back in, the one man, right there, yellow and red card machine. He's a wonderful player. Brunner takes the attack in left, and he looks, he's a, he's a good player as well. Ambrell, who I showed you, the unhappy start, and then the legend that is Daniel Yuzadowski goes up front. And everybody's lacking sharpness because we've had a holiday. And numbers, you want to, we can have number one. You're never going to be number one, but you can We have two, Abu. Can we have any way numbers? We can have 32, Eric Vega. We have number eight, Trevor Microfield. You can have 10. There you go, make you feel important. If you feel like you're going to start every game, you're not, but we'll not tell them that. And let's go for it, team talk. Out there, make sure they know. And yeah, really, the transfer window was reasonably successful actually. We, we never lost anybody, that was the key, apart from the players I, I had to let go. But none of them were first team regulars, none of them were, were starting. So, Ben Trapp was really the only one I was really a bit worried about losing. He has potential, he might come back and beat us in the in the body. And yeah, Grease Wall, that sounds a bit like a Harry Potter cell, doesn't it? It's These guys are second bottom. Oh, I was just about to shout the man more, but from Butcher. Oh, a bit of curve in it. He's good at that, making it hit off the goalkeeper. And Vega's nervous. The man more. That'll confuse him. No, no, it doesn't. It's our focus. Kuzinski. Puchier's having a having a flyer. Not a lot of greens at the moment. Quite pleased with this so far. The worry was we were having such a big break that these players could uh, come back a little bit unrefreshed. We're 10 points clear at the moment. It's going to be a, quite a simple. I worked out we need 19 points. Ah, oh, Brunel. Lovely. Worked out we need 19 points to secure this, so this would be 16 points. If we win this comfortably. But yeah. I believe the Tasmania uh, Borussia Tennis Berlin manager should get sacked if we win promotion because the half the players we've got in the squad they should have won. They should be winning the league. There we go. Assistant, there we go, let's go. Well, what did I hand over to assistant for? I don't even know what he said. That was a mistake. And I'd rather did it myself and then knew what he said. But whatever he said, we were happy with. There we go. Yes, yeah, so the finances aren't good. But I'm hoping if we win some the promotion to the region Ellis, we'll get some Serious money coming in. Man more. Schumacher and goals. Rizzo Field, Yuzadowski. Abrell. Oh, header. Brunner again. This is the Manuel Brunner show. I think next season, this, this season's Yuzadowski's last at centre forward, I think. I don't think he's quite cut up for the next level, he's going to probably take Manuel Brunner's slot on that left side of midfield, 
Let's do bigger. There we go, and Barger. It's a safe pair of hands now. I never thought I'd say that about him. There's something about this formation that is bringing the best out. Oh, here going. Constant man. Bye bye, pal. Thank you for coming. Get some subs now because there's going to be a few tired people out there. I'm going to take Vega off for Fisher. And swap Fisher and Trap over. And Zuna is playing reasonably well. And Micklefield could come off. Abu could come on. Abu. I'm going to just keep it going. Hopefully, one more. They're all focused, apart from Butcher, who's calm. And this is going to be another win for us. Abulu, Brunner, Abulu, Pope, Cross, Butcher, Start Save, Fisher. Chair. Oh, a goal in his debut. A boo And that was a peach. Lovely. And I'm just put one more sub. Do we want to see Lick Taylor? Oh, we'll get the, the Aco mid on. That's it. Two threes. And they're all fired up. And this should be it. Schumacher. A driving kick. And he's on the line. And a bull is going to try and get it himself. I'm quite liking the look of a bull already. That was wonderful. Team talk, happy result in the way you played. There we go. I never trust the assistant manager to do the talks. He normally says, we're losing 3 0. Oh, you played really well today. And we'll just see how, how we have our clubs went. 4 0 for us. 10 points, boost your tennis, Berlin won. And I don't think we need to, to worry about Azelsdorf, but we lost. So it's a straight out fight between Borussia Tennis and Tasmania. Wonderful. Right, look at the schedule. And as you can see, we've got Zeelandorf next, who are fifth. I think we'll just play that. And I'll come back for the Emperor Berlin game and the Skronberg game. Anyway, right, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.